solving for special right triangles. Special right triangles come in three forms. First we have what are called the Pythagorean triplets. For a right triangle, there are several sets of three numbers that when the two legs are squared and added together, they will equal the hypotenuse squared. The second type of special right triangle is a 30-60-90 right triangle. And the third type of special right triangle is the 45-45-90 right triangle. Normally, we would use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the sides of a, of a right triangle. Given a right triangle, we know that each of the sides that make up the right angle are called legs, and the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Using the theorem from Pythagoras, we know that the legs squared added together equal the hypotenuse squared. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. If we assign one leg the letter A, the other leg the letter B, and the hypotenuse C, we get an equation of A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Given a right triangle whose legs are 3 and 4 and whose hypotenuse is C, we would solve by plugging in 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared, where C is the hypotenuse, and 3 and 4 represent each of the legs. 3 squared equals 9, and 4 squared equals 16. When we add the two legs squared together, we get a total of C squared equals 25. To get rid of the square, we would square root both sides, giving us C equals the square root of 25. The square of 25 is 5, therefore the hypotenuse of this triangle equals 5. 3, 4, 5 is one of the first Pythagorean triplets. Understanding that there are certain ratios that hold to true for these right triangles, we know that the 3, 4, 5 triangle is 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Keeping that same ratio, we also get a 6, 8, 10 triplet where 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, and 36 and 64 add up to 100, and the square root of 100 equals 10. As we continue with this ratio, we also have triplets of 9, 12, 15, 12, 16, and 20, and 15, 20, and 25. While you could simply solve using the Pythagorean theorem, it is much easier if you recognize these ratios because these triangles are the ones typically seen on standardized tests like the SAT, ACT, and so on. A second set of Pythagorean triplets includes the 5, 12, 13, where 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, and 25 and 144 adds up to 169, whose square is 13. So therefore, the 5, 12, 13 is a num another Pythagorean triplet. Keeping that same ratio, we also get a triplet of 10, 24, 26. The last triplet, which is not seen as often, but does show up periodically on standardized tests, is the 7, 24, 25, where 7 squared is 49, 24 squared is 576, and 49 and 576 add up to 625, whose square is 25. Once again, you could solve these all by using the Pythagorean theorem, but if you recognize these ratios, these are the, the triangles that show up most often on standardized exams. Let's practice. Using a right triangle whose leg is 8 and the hypotenuse is 10, we should recognize that the missing leg is 6, making it a 6, 8, 10 triplet. If given a triangle with a leg of 5 and a hypotenuse of 13, we should recognize that the other leg is 12 from the 5, 12, 13 triplet. And using a triangle whose legs are 7 and 24, we should recognize that the hypotenuse is 25, the 7, 24, 25 triplet. Moving on to the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we must understand that right triangles have a special ratio between the legs and hypotenuse and the leg and the leg. For a 30-60-90 triangle, the shortest leg has a ratio of 1, while the hypotenuse is 2. Therefore, to solve, we use 1 
times 2 to get the hypotenuse when moving from the short leg to the hypotenuse. In reverse, to go from the hypotenuse to the short leg, we would divide by 2. That would give us the ratio from the hypotenuse to the short leg. When moving from the short leg to the long leg, the ratio is root 3. To solve from the short leg to the long leg, we would multiply by root 3. In reverse, to go from the sh long leg to the short leg, we would multiply by root 3 and divide by 3. <clears throat> to prove that this is the right triangle ratio, we use the Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared plus root 3 squared equals 2 squared. 1 squared is 1, root 3 squared is 3, and 2 squared is 4. Therefore, 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 equals 4. Let's practice by using this ratio system. If given a 30-60-90 triangle whose leg is 4, to solve for the hypotenuse, we would multiply by 2, giving us a hypotenuse of 8. To move from the short leg to the long leg, we would multiply by root 3, giving us a long leg of 4 root 3. If given a hypotenuse of 18, we would divide by 2, giving us a short leg of 9. In turn, we would then multiply by root 3, which would give us a long leg of 9 times root 3. If given a long leg of 9, we would move to the short leg by multiplying by root 3 and dividing by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3 times root 3 gives us a short leg of 3 root 3. We would then multiply by 2 to get the hypotenuse, which gives us 6 root 3. For a 45-45-90 triangle, we also have a special ratio. First, because this is an isosceles right triangle, we know that the two legs must be equal. So both sides have a ratio of 1 to 1. The hypotenuse, however, has a ratio of root 2. Using the Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared plus 1 squared equals root 2 squared, we see that 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 equals 2, making this a right triangle. To move from the short the leg to the hypotenuse, we use a multiply by root 2. And to go from the hypotenuse to the leg, we use multiplying by root 2 and dividing by 2. Let's practice on two samples of the 45-45-90 triangle. If given a leg of 4, we know that both legs have to be equal, being an isosceles right triangle. Therefore, the other leg is 4. To move to the hypotenuse, we multiply by root 2, giving us a hypotenuse of 4 root 2. In the second example, we are given a hypotenuse of 12. To go from the hypotenuse to the leg, we multiply by root 2 and divide by 2. 12 divided by root 2, 12 divided by 2, I should say, is 6. Times root 2 gives us a leg of 6 root 2. We know in an isosceles right triangle, the two legs have to be equal. Therefore, the second leg is also 6 root 2. These are samples of solving for special right triangles.